Welcome to 8.6's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students worked with customary units of weight and how to convert them. We worked with a cheat code today to help us convert those um, units of weight. And so some of the things we talked about today was converting from ounces to pounds, pounds to tons. We talked about being, there being 16 ounces in a pound. 16 ounces looks a whole lot like the abbreviation for pound, which is LV. So it's an easy way to remember that there are 16 ounces in a pound. There are 2,000 pounds in a ton. And so those are the conversions that we talked about today. Noticing that depending on what direction you're moving, you're either going to need multiplying or dividing. Let's look at example number one. We have 84 ounces and we need to convert this to pounds. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my 84 and I'm going to convert to my pounds. So I notice that I have hopped over the 16, so I know I'm going to use 16, and I've also moved my way to the left, which means I'm going to be dividing. So in this case, I'm going to be taking 84 divided by 16. Now when I look at this, can 84 and go, or excuse me, can 16 go into 8? No, it cannot. Can 16 go into 84? I know it can, but I'm not sure how many times. So I need to use guess and check. I always think a good spot to start with guess and check is 5s. 6 times 5 is 30, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 more is uh, 8, so I can see that I'm right there at 84. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to write my 5 down, 5 times 16 is 80, and I've got 4 left over. Now there's a couple of things we need to do with this number, we could write it as a fraction, we could write 5 and 4 sixteenths pounds, which we would uh, reduce that. 4 and 16 are divisible by 4, so it would be um, 1 and 1, or excuse me, 1 fourth, so I could have 5 and 1 fourth pounds. Students could also convert that to a decimal if they prefer. Either one is perfectly acceptable, they just need to make sure that they've got that remainder written appropriately for this problem. All right, looking at our second part of our question, it says blank tons is 2, or 22,000 pounds. <clears throat> so when I go ahead and look at this one, I'm going to go ahead and look that I'm going from my pounds and I'm going to go to my tons. Noticing that I'm going to be moving to my left again, which means I'm going to divide. So I'm going to take my 2,000 on the outside of my house and then I've got my 22,000 on the inside of my house. So I'm going to take 22,000 divided by 2,000. When I look at this problem, a lot of things that we tell students to look for is if there is a trick that if they've got zeros on the outside and zeros on the inside of the house, they can go ahead and cross those off. So in this case, I've got 1, 2, 3, noticing that the inside has 1, 2, 3. My problem becomes much simpler because now I just need to take 22 divided by 2, which I know 2 can go into 2 one time and then it can go in there one time again for an answer of 11 tons. All right, now going on to example number two, students also work with word problems today, and this one gives us a couple of steps to solve, so making sure that we're really listening for the important information to think about how we're going to solve and then what we need to convert. All right, so example number two. A recipe calls for four ounces of crushed chocolate, but Jessica wants to double the chocolate for her recipe for the bake sale. Jessica makes 12 cakes for the, with the revised recipe. How many pounds of chocolate does Jessica need? Okay, again, this problem has a lot of things going on. One of the very first things I'm going to look at is this very first sentence. It says there are four ounces of crushed chocolate, but she wants to double that. So I know four ounces and to double that, that's like taking it times two. So I'm going to take four times two gives me eight. Now, the next sentence says that Jessica makes 12 chocolate cakes with the revised recipe. So I know each cake is going to need eight, but she makes 12 cakes. So I'm going to take 12 times eight. Now some students might, need, might, need a, might know this fact and some may not. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly write it down. 12 times 8, 2 times 8 is 16. Carry my 1, I've got 1 times 8, which is 8, plus 1 more is 9. So I know I've got 96 ounces of chocolate that I'm going to use to make this cake. Now, I'm not quite finished because it says how many pounds of chocolate does Jessica need? 
So I need to take my ounces and I need to convert it to pounds. So I'm going to go from ounces to pounds, which means I'm going to divide by 16. I'm going to go ahead and do some erasing over here so I've got a little bit more room to show my work. So I'm going to take my 96 divided by my 16. Now a lot of students don't know their 16s, so a good thing to do is go ahead and guess and check. I can know that I already have 16 times 5 from up here, which I know is getting me very, very close. I'm going to see if I go up one more, if that will help me solve this question. So I'm going to try 16 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Put down my 6, carry my 3. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 3 more is 9. Okay, that's right there on the money, which gives me my exact answer. So I'm going to write 6 here. 6 times 16 is 96. So with this problem, I need to buy 6 pounds of chocolate for this recipe. Noticing when we've got a long word problem with, like this with a lot of conversions, it's important to read it once, go back and reread, and work step by step to be able to solve this question. If you have any questions about 8.6, make sure you see your math teacher.